Hey guys, how are you doing? Kinda excited. As you can see, I work on the first frame lag. Now, to make it clear, I didn't do the frame lag itself. Uh, it was for help from uh, Anonymous. He hooked me up with one of his uh, new smaller version frame lags. I bought the, the frame lag itself and the titanium other side liner. Uh, I customized it a little bit, changed the shapes. Just a tiny bit. I mean, you could clearly see that it is. It was his. But uh, as a first step on my on my own custom frame lag or liner lag, it's gonna be a great experience to see how it goes. How you know what the tolerances are and how all the what everything I have to do. And it came out sweet. I guess I think you know. Of course, in my eyes, it's gonna be <laughs> awesome. But check it out, guys. Now. My reverse tanto really, I like that shape, nice swoop, pretty much the whole whole blade is one big curvature. Now you have nice lean, you know, reverse tanto with the shallow curve, nice thumb ram. I did do the spidey hole, I just, it just fitted there, I needed to do it. I don't know if I have to now call Spyderco and ask them if it's fine or what. Uh, I'm sure they won't mind. Uh, really nice full height convex you know there's maybe not even quarter inch flat but after cleaning and everything it was pretty much full height convex nice and lean grind almost perfect almost perfect uh, it's gonna be nice and clean this one I took a little extra time cleaning it but I'm still gonna do it side and finish once it's done this is actually S35 VN so it should be pretty better still hopefully um, I'll probably will send this just on its own to the heat read. I'll pay that extra little couple dollars. I'm not gonna do anything else. I, you know, I don't even have any more of this steel. Now you see that really nice thick titanium liner. Again, I didn't fit it yet. I'm gonna fit the line, the lock and the um, stock after the heat read. There is no point of doing it now. It's very stiff still. John Anonymous has such crazy tolerances in here and all of this has to be hammered together these pins you know these are the screws pretty much just hold the scale on because it has like the standoffs have uh, steps that are press fitted in here you see it here press fitted in here the stop pin is spread fi press fitted in the in the frame lock and uh, then this once I draw this I could just barely put it on and hammer it on you know the titanium scale titanium liner and then the scale on top of it same goes for the for the pivot I had to hammer the pivot in but that's good so that means there, there should be no play and once it comes from the heater and I clean it up and everything it should have really good tolerances I don't think it's yeah, it's not centered now I don't know if it is uh, because because I drilled the hole in the in the blade itself not perfectly straight most likely uh, but doesn't bother me at all, not at all. This, I mean, I don't have a, I don't even have a drill press that can drill straight. <laughs> but uh, I like how it looks closed, pretty sweet shape, I think. No, I changed this here. John had the uh, stoppers here, like little little notches. It had little different shape here for a thumb stat that uh, also doubled as a blade stub in open position open position and this was coming out into the uh, spike like you know this method is here so I changed that just to make it a little more me mine now the access to the hole nice you see that pretty pretty good location fits the I think visually fits nice it's gonna be pretty sweet I, I cannot flick it now it's it's too stiff it's uh, imagine that the uh, pivot is pushed, you know, forced through the blade itself, and it's hammered in. So there's almost nothing can freely, freely spin on it. So that's why it's kind of stiff. That will get better, much better after the heat read. I just hope it won't get too, too good, <laughs> too loose. Shouldn't. It's pretty tough. So after the heat read, it should be just right the the sizes. But for the first one. I think it's pretty nice. I, sh you know, chamfered the the edges also on the inside, so it doesn't have sharp edges anywhere. Uh, did uh, kind of like a big Anza pattern on the carbon fiber, and of course I was gonna do carbon fiber on, uh, you know, such a big. It's a big deal for me. 
it's a pretty big deal even though I didn't actually do this all you know the cutting and everything but it's still nice you know I did you know had to fit the blade into the frame lock now I'm pretty happy feels great in the hand gonna be a sweet blade I can't wait to get it done cannot wait so let me know what you think guys I'm happy hopefully it will all, all work out once it comes back from the heat treat I don't know how I'm gonna top the freaking pocket clip I definitely want a pocket clip on my blade and this actually this will get changed with some I'm gonna get some nice you know steel washer or probably some really big head screw that will fit that will fit the pivot I have in there because that's a, that's actually the you know stop for the same same idea same design as John has himself uh, it's stop for the you know com over pressing the frame lock so that's I just I just had the washer you know fossil bronze washer that fit that exact size so I put it there just to you know have it there just to see and the screw also I'll probably get more of screws like this I like these flat heads so they will be there and uh, I don't know let me know what you think guys thank you for watching hope you like it if you have any ideas or suggestions or advices greatly appreciate it thanks take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself